I mean, I expect it at this point, but it still burns me up. that They're still trying to push this. They, they tried to spin it as a bunch of evil radicals, and, and Northam was actually at the forefront of this. In fact, this was Northam talking about how he expects violence at the rally before it started. We're seeing threats of violence. We're seeing threats of armed confrontation and assault on our capital. But we have received credible intelligence from our law enforcement agencies that there are groups with malicious plans for the rally that is planned for Monday. This includes out-of-state militia groups and hate groups planning to travel from across the country to disrupt our democratic process with acts of violence. They are not coming to peacefully protest. They are coming to intimidate and to cause harm. State intelligence analysts have identified threats and violent rhetoric, sim rhetoric similar to what has been seen before other major events, such as Charlottesville. This intelligence comes from mainstream channels, both offline and online, such as alternative dark web channels used by violent groups and white nationalists from outside Virginia. But no one wants another incident like the one we saw in Charlottesville in 2017. We will not allow that mayhem and violence to happen here. Now that's Northam's statement about this, and I mean, we all know that Northam is a disgusting piece of human filth, and I say that not because of this, I say that because of his stance on abortion and that, yeah, we'll just kill babies even after they're born, whatever, you know, if the mom doesn't want it, I don't care if it's born and already in the other room, we, we may go ahead and kill it anyway. Now, granted, that's far worse than what just happened here, but you heard how he cast it and how he tried to do it, because you'll notice in that very short clip that I showed, and granted, I did edit a little bit for time, but I think the full clip was only about three minutes where he was talking there. Three times he mentioned Charlottesville, white nationalism. He tried to cast this group as being the same group, uh, the hate group that was there in Charlottesville that wound up killing somebody that were marching and saying Jews will not replace us and all this other garbage. They're not the same group. And you'll say there that these people are not coming to peacefully assemble. They are coming here to do harm. And yet, even after all that, not even a single incident, not even one crazy person in the crowd causing trouble. That's absolutely astounding. And by the way, when this happened, Northam tried to save face because, I mean, it was super obvious at this point that Northam could not have possibly been more wrong if he had tried to be. And yet he still tried to save face on Twitter with this graphic. So this is him after the protest saying, We are all thankful today that passed without incident. The team successfully de-escalated what could have been a volatile situation. I will continue to listen to the voices of Virginians and will do everything in my power to keep our commonwealth safe. You know, I think that uh, tomorrow the Earth is going to be hit by an asteroid and it's going to cause the entire world to go extinct. And just so you know, if that doesn't happen, what I'm going to do is go around on Twitter telling everybody, hey guys, I saved the world, you're welcome. I saved it from that giant asteroid that I made up out of nothing. <laughs> and uh, you should all, you know, really be thanking me, and, and I'd like to express gratitude for my team that handled the asteroid situation. Look, nobody was ever in danger. You didn't de-escalate something because something has to be escalated before it is de-escalated. There wasn't an incident where people were about to riot, and then all of a sudden, Northern's team stepped in and, and calmed them down. That never happened. And frankly, if there had been people there trying to do something bad or looking for trouble, there's really nothing Northern's team could have done. As armed as they were and as many of them as there were, there wouldn't have been a whole lot they could have done. And yet the whole day goes off peacefully. Why would Northam say something like this? Why is it that Northam would say that it had to be de-escalated because you would, like I said, assume that it would have to be escalated to be de-escalated? You see, in the mind of Northam and other leftists, a person merely having a firearm, or for the most part, I would say to most leftists, a person just having ideas that are different than theirs, but 
for the sake of staying in context and staying on topic, we'll say the idea of a person even having a firearm is an act of violence. The idea that anybody would even want a gun, that means you must automatically be a violent person that cannot be trusted. You can tell this in their rhetoric. You can tell it in the way that Northam just tried to classify the gun rights advocates. They think that just having a gun, you must be a troublemaker. You must be trying to do something. You must be up to something. See, in their mind, it needed de-escalation because merely having guns present, that is escalation. They really do think about it the way that they cast it whenever there's some kind of violent shooting or something. That the problem is the gun, not the person. The reason that nobody was hurt through this whole episode is because, yeah, there were tons of people with guns there. There was nobody there that wanted to hurt anybody. The difference was the people, not the guns. Because if guns equaled violence, well, that thing should have been a bloodbath. But there wasn't because the people didn't want to cause any trouble. That's the thing that Northam and his buddies on the left can not understand. <laughs> You know, you really should like this video and subscribe to the Tactics YouTube channel. Oh, what's that? You want to know what's on the channel before you subscribe to it? Oh, no, 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 it's like Obamacare. So you gotta subscribe to find out what's on it.